guys, what's going on? Welcome to day 11, TMJ in the USA season three, bright and early, Monday morning. Monday morning here in Dayton, Ohio. Just about to go crush myself some morning cardio, of course. Nevos, sleeping in the background, of course. Don't put him down for cardio. So I'm just here, uh, the, we had the, the time zone change. So we've moved three hours forward because now we're on the East Coast, uh, which means the time here at the moment is uh just after eight which means back in australia it's actually still pretty early at night so it's like 9 30 or 10 10 9 30 at night 9 30 p.m so just getting back to uh some of the messages some of the emails with the team back in australia laptop on deck just smashed my drop factor in our computer stack which is fantastic because as usual last night didn't get to bed until about 4 a.m up now just after 8 a.m so running on about four hours sleep so this shit <laughs> has been making cardio half bearable first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna go smash uh, probably 15, 20 minutes of, of medium intensity interval training downstairs on the elliptical. Uh, once again, by myself, because Nevos, don't put him down for cardio. Then we'll, uh, we'll get back up in here, get up, smash some breakfast, and we are off to the MTS warehouse, spending time with my brother, Mark Lobliner, all damn day. See you guys there. Oh shit. I finally got myself a cardio partner. Up in this bitch. And we're, we're periscoping. We're periscoping Long live. Scope. So not only do I have a partner, but we're killing time with periscope. Good, Finally. Oh, and it took 11 days. Big yeah. So Let's oh, crush it. Go a cappella, Neve. That breakfast is on point, right? We had uh, 10 egg whites. 10 egg whites, whole grain bagels, cooked custom down here at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn. Oops. Shit was delicious. Good to see you're awake, mate. mate awake, Good to see you're awake. Your eyes are open. You're talking to the viewers at home. I haven't done my hair yet, though. This here Monday morning. Well, fortunately for you, the hair tutorial was online, so you gotta check that shit out. Get your shit on point. I'll learn how to look like a hair. Mate, you, you learn how to actually have some style. Yeah. All right, we're back to the hotel room. We're gonna shower, get changed. And then head you on didn't shower once, mate. You didn't shower. Yesterday. Well, I need to shower and shave. You see that? You didn't shower yesterday, did you? Tell the people at home. That's about the extent of my beard growth. See that shit? You've been in 24 hours. I haven't even got your toilet sheet bag out yet. And then we're off to tell you're traveling. MTS HQ with Mark Lobelin. All right, guys. So it's uh, Monday. It's Monday morning. Yeah, it's, Monday uh, morning. It's, it's Monday at uh, well, it's it's late morning, but we didn't get in till like one last night. We didn't get to, yeah, we, we did, you guys saw this already. We didn't get to sleep till about, well, I didn't get to sleep till about 4 a.m. I had three. I had to go, I had to, go to bed at three, man. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm older than Joe. I need my beauty rest, man. I don't, I don't have the recovery, but, uh, but, but also keep in mind, like we met over breakfast, like we, we got some work done, but now we're going to go to the old HQ. And then, uh, obviously afterwards we're going to go tour the new HQ. You guys get a look at it before there's like anything in there. And then you'll see us fill it up, but uh, it'll, it's going to be a good time today. It's a pretty impressive building. You know what you guys should do? What's you that? Should, you should time lapse that shit when you when you move. Oh you should yeah. Get, like, GoPros and set them up in the top corners. That would be awesome. It. That'd be epic, right? Yeah. I'd you, love to see that. You, you guys hook, would love to see that. You can hook GoPros up to. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, but you can make it so it's it's plugged into the wall, and yeah. I mean, you could do a lot of cool things with the power, and then you could capture it on a master, you know, um, drive. I mean, I just. I get the nerds involved in that one. I can't yeah, yeah. figure that shit out. I can barely figure out how to use my goddamn iPhone. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like, you know what was fun? This is a fun. So I was with Rich Gaspari last year in the Cape, trying to teach a guy his age how to use an iPhone. It was funny. Me and Alyssa were like, no. He's like, so this Instagram thing. What do you? How does it work? I'm like, you have like two hundred thousand followers. You put it on the line. He's like, wow, this is really cool. <laughs> Exchange <-a> <laughs> I'm just, you know what? So this Tinder thing is that in Australia too? Mm -hmm. See, I really think I missed out on this whole swipe for vagina thing. Well, Nevos was, uh, you were quite the uh, the Tinder entrepreneur, were you not? Oh, three years ago. Yeah, okay. back before your bushy cat. So how was that? Like, do you just like, because when I, when I was a kid, like, or a young adult, like, you actually had to pick girls up, like, you had to have, like, skill, right? So all you do is you swipe and you get, you get, you get women. I mean, is that how it goes? Yeah, you can't be picky on Tinder. Yeah, yeah. It never ended well for Nevos. It didn't. It never ended well. So, because so, there's filters and shit, right? Oh. So you're you're picking based on what the filter tells you. It's Instagram hot. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. 
So, so did you ever have one that actually met the expectation? No. <laughs> well, let's, just, let's just say I got fooled by the seatbelt to uh, to upper arm ratio. Seatbelt to upper arm ratio. <laughs> See, here's the thing with uh, Tinder. Like, let me. Like, here's the thing. Like, if a girl has to put her profile on Tinder to get, like, it's not hard for women to get men. You know what I mean? Like, a five can get it any night she wants. You just have to wait till the other girls leave the club. Because at the end of the night, like, a five becomes an eight real quick at, like, 2 a.m. Club's closing down. You're like, oh, man, that girl, like, you'd be like, I would never. But it's late. You got to settle. So it's all relativity. If there's no tens around, a five is a ten. <laughs> it's only it's like it's like on the bodybuilding stage if no one else shows up even if you're at 90 percent body fat you're gonna win the show right this is true so if you're an ugly girl this is to all the ugly ladies out there and I know you're watching you know what it, you'll get men just wait be the last one at the club there's always too many guys to girls there's gonna be at least one decently attractive guy who's just gonna settle and you might be the one this is life tips with that's, life that's, <laughs> and that was, just the tips. Just the tips. And that was life lesson 38 from my play last so. <laughs> Have you seen it though? You've been to a club and no, but here, there was one there was one time I was at I was at a um a, a club like establishment. Is that a politically correct term? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> there's this dude, I'm not I don't know if dudes are good, but he wasn't he wasn't hideous, right? And he picks I mean, this girl was. I mean, I'm not. Look, I'm not saying that that larger women can't be beautiful, but she was, she was quite impressive in her in her bulking off season. I mean, she was off season. That's what she was. And uh, you know, he, there were a bunch of like sevens or eights around. He went straight for the four, but you know what? They left on the spot. So that's another thing. Sometimes you ugly girls could get picked off by someone who's just having a lazy night. You know, he could be like, you know, I don't want to put this effort in this game here. So I'm gonna just go straight to the four. Because that's 100% success rate right there. So also, guys out there, if you're not, if you don't want the drama from the hot girls, just go straight for the four. I mean, just give in. At the end of the day, you're just looking for a warm, wet spot. Just roll with it. And that was laugh less than 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got these for days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned for more laugh lessons by Mark. <laughs> All right, we've arrived here at MTS HQ in Mason, Ohio. Check that out, man. It's a 10,000, what is it, about 12,000 square feet? It's, uh, it'd probably be more than that in no, total. It's 12, I just lost I think, no, I think the warehouse would be 12,000. No, it could be. Yeah? Oh, because there's offices and shit as well. It's, it's a big place. Anyway, we're about to go inside, man, get a bit of a, uh, well, we, we were here last year, so it's yeah. not really a tour. It's like a retour with Mark, and then we're actually going to crush some work, so. Yeah, about to we've got to get back to some emails. I think it's, what, like 3 a.m. in Adelaide? Yeah. Something like that. Some shit like that. Who knows? Anyway. What's up, guys? It's time for another meal. Time to make some gains. I'm and we're style. traveling in style in the Humvee, baby. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so we just crushed some lunch. Down uh, there. You, did you just have a nap in the car? I just had a nap. <laughs> uh, it was about 15, I fell asleep like 15 seconds at a time. You did, you were having the, what do they call them, power sleeps? Yeah. Power naps. Me and anyway, Mark, we me just and Mark had a bit of a nap on the back seat. We just uh, crushed lunch at uh, Longhorn Steakhouse. Had ourselves some steak and sweet potato. I'd broccoli. And then uh, drove a little bit, and Mark and uh, Neve slept together yep. in the back of the car. And we're here. We've just arrived at the new MTS warehouse. So where you guys saw before was where they're currently operating from. They're there for another month, another less than a month. Ten days, Mark said he's going to start moving in here. And then they start moving into this. This is the new MTS warehouse. You guys check this shit out, man. Oh, you know what? Pretty good size, pretty good size. That's not a game. Let's go inside. Look at the size of this place. <laughs> oh shit. It's almost 40,000 square feet, which for uh, everyone that uses the metric system is about 4,000 square meters in space. Super high clearance. What do you think of this plate? I think this is uh, Neve's gym. I'm just gonna stand in the middle and do a 360 for all you guys. All right, check this out. Dispatch down at the back. Deliveries on the side. Offices and shit in the front. And then over in this area, Mark tells me they're putting a gym. Uh, they're putting a, a, a golf simulator or some shit like that. 
all kinds of fun activities. <laughs> I think it's fair to say MTS is not here to f spiders, right? Mark, this place is huge. Look at this. It's one of those where I can't wait to fill this full of product right here. Man. Yeah, buddy. We'll have this whole staging area for Australia right here. Yeah. This is the Austra this is the Australia New Zealand area right here, guys. It is. That, that, I don't know if it's enough cube. space. All right, we might take some of this here as well. <laughs> you know, thing is, this is uh, the, the other parts are just as cool. This is really exciting um, to be able to see that we started from an attic to a basement. We went from up to down to yeah. where we're at now to this. Yeah. Um, this is just over two years, so I mean, you saw how crowded our other facility so this was. This area back here is going to be a dedicated apparel, so dedicated apparel production and storage in through there and then back over here where we told you guys is the uh the, you know, have some recreational bits and pieces i'm honestly i'm not too sure how long that's gonna last because the rate that mts has been growing man i could imagine this starting off as recreational <laughs> and then being used for storage are you scoping no not yet oh, we, 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 yeah we definitely have to scope This is where they're putting their gym. Yeah. And through there, yeah. they're putting their batting cages and a golf simulator. Yeah, recreational facilities. Yeah. Then what I just said is I said, it'll definitely start off as recreational facilities. Yeah. And I'm not too sure how, just no. because of the rate of growth. Yeah. It'll, it'll get be, kicked out from more like storage space. like MJ where we had our chill out room. Which yeah, was just we used the to have a chill out room. Which was the sleeping room. Yeah. Which turned into the... We used to have a place where you could throw the football yeah. around. Which turned into the power room, then the power and room. now we don't have room to walk. Yeah. Then, the, then, the, then, the, uh, then the power room at HQ got turned... No, the posing room got turned into the power room. Yeah. Which Josh has just completely torn down now. Yeah. And then back on the through here, we're going to go into the offices. We'll show you guys the office area as well. This, this is incredible to see, right? Yeah. This is just from our perspective, even the, the part that we played in in this for these guys. No, that's the bathroom. That's, we're not going through there. I think we took the wrong entrance. To see how quickly this company's grown is amazing. So we're very happy for Mark and Chad and the whole MTS crew. All right. Ooh, I like it. Internal office, communal offices. So Nevos, bathrooms. As junior, junior vice vice president of MTS Nutrition, yeah. as seen in season one, yeah. which office are you going to take, mate? Hey, Joe, so we can office. In through there. We're going to put Matt right here. I like this office layout. So this is my office right here. This right, is the machine's office. Right. Junior vice president. Oh yeah, here's, what are you, is it junior vice president? What was your title? Junior, junior vice president. Junior, junior. <laughs> so Chad, are you in this one? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be living here longer than you, though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you deserve the bigger one. Well, you need to just vote on the wall. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm glad I got a vote on that one. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Actually, we can make that one here. We just come on in through here. I'll take this one right here. Honestly, I'll just put the, the couch Man, there are a lot of offices here. Everyone's going to have their own office. It's great. I think this is the, oh yeah, this is the actual entrance entrance. This is clean. The bit of reception desk. I like how this place is like, it's pretty much ready to move into for these guys as well. They're not going to have to do a lot apart from just transport, stock and so and uh, computer systems. Through here, there's another one. Here, there's another one. And, and in here goes back out to the warehouse. Oh no, hold on. It doesn't. It goes into your meeting room. Chill out room. It's clean. Look at that. On point. And now I think this goes back out into the warehouse. Yeah, it does. Boom. So there you go guys, full tour of the all new MTS Nutrition headquarters here in Mason, Ohio. It's epic, it's really cool. Congratulations to my brother Mark Loebline and the whole MTS crew. This is uh, not going to be the start of something big, 
this is the continuation of something huge, something massive. What's up guys? So we're here back at MTS HQ, the current MTS HQ, not the new one that you guys just saw. Here with Nevosh. What up? What are you up to there, mate? Uh, let's go back to some emails. Crushing a little bit of work. Yep. Yeah. I think the, the fellas back home are annoyed because I haven't been uh, doing any emails for the last few days. What, well, what's your excuse? We crushed it, mate. <laughs> you guys come and check this out. Look what I'm up to over here. Working on some MTS apparel designs to be available at Massive Joe's, right? So been, uh, Everyone's been asking for that shit for a while. What was the time in at like 7 o'clock? Yeah. A.M. Yeah. On Tuesday morning. Yeah. I've been crushing it with Dilly. Yep. Dilla, the cutting yep. specialist. Yep. Talking to him, been talking to Josh about uh, a few processes we're going to go into. <laughs> this was moves already. May. Already. CEO in 10K a day. Unbelievable. The junior vice vice president of MPS does <laughs> and the good news is, guys, seriously, though, I'm actually doing some apparel for, for MTS, for co-branded MTS and TMJ apparel. You guys have been asking for it for a while. Some uh, some swag, some MTS swag, some MTS shakers, uh, all kinds of MTS merchandise coming your way. We've been, we, we have been actually making some pretty good moves today. It's been good. We've been, uh, we've been uh, cashing better. checks and snapping necks. I feel better to catch, catch the caught up on email. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we'll catch you guys pre-workout. All right, time for some pre-workout gains. Nevos, what you got there, mate? I've got Caramel Sutra, MTS Way with oh, some oats. Look at that. That's gains. You know what I got? Cinegram. Cinegram. MTS Way with oats. Yeah. We're going to crush that, and then we're going to crush it. Crush See you guys at the gym. All right, guys, so we're done at MTS HQ. Just about to hop on in the Hummer and go train ourselves some quads, baby. We'll see you at the gym. What's up? Hello. Got that ruckus. Bring the ruckus. Bring the ruckus. Hey, guys, what's up? We're here at Power Station in Middleton, Ohio. We're about to bring the ruckus. So hitting some legs. We're bringing the ruckus, baby. The ruckus! Yeah! Everybody's gonna be like, what's ruckus? I gotta tell you what, it's coming soon to massivejoes.com. So Joe's over here getting his pre's done. Yeah, buddy. So we just, we train in, of course, we train on MTS, right? You know what's up. So we train on Clash in the new tropical punch flavor, Nevosh. Delicious, with the Vasky. Stacking that bitch with Vasky. And now check this out. The intro workout's going down. Two scoops of machine fuel mixed berry up in his bitch. And of course, the all new Machine Carb 10. In the unflavored. Yeah, in the unflavored. Post workout, we're going cookies and cream. Yeah, intro workout, we're going unflavored because we love that mixed berry machine fuel. And man. cookies so, and cream and mixed berry would be quite weird. Yeah, that'd be very strange. Be um, well, intro workout, it would be strange. Yeah, Post workout, it might actually be quite nice. Berry cookie? It'd be, yeah. Yeah, that might be something we try. Yeah. You always got to try something three times. Would what it be like say? cookies and cream with uh, sludge with frozen blueberries? Ooh, oh, look at him making the correlation. Oh, shit. I like that. I didn't expect that kind of intelligence. <laughs> 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 what up, guys? We are in the middle of crushing the absolute <laughs> out of legs right now. This has been a workout from hell. You guys will see the full episode on In The Gym With Team Massive Joes. But just to give you a quick summary, We've done 10 sets of 10 reps of pendulum squats, superset with 10 sets of 10 reps of leg extensions. Then we superset 10 sets of 10 reps of leg press back here with 10 sets of 10 reps of goblet squats. We're now doing barbell back squats over here. We're doing 10 sets, two sets of 10, two sets of eight, two sets of six, two sets of four, two sets of two, adding weight every time the reps drop. So, I don't even know how many sets and reps we've done, but by the end of this, it'll probably be 50 working sets, over 500 working reps. It's hard as right now. And we're shooting all kinds of media too. We're periscoping, we're shooting in the gym with Team Massive Joes, we're shooting video for Mark's channel. Man, we're putting in work on a Monday night here in Ohio. We'll catch you guys post workout. All right, two hours and 30 minutes later, and we are done. Yes. Nevosh. That was 
that was a very solid workout. Young was man. that one of the uh, most intense leg workouts you've ever done? It was. Is that the most intense leg workout you have done thus far? Y'all bring me your shaker so I won't have to do this once. Everybody, we're going with 50 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein. Everybody good with that? So this is post-workout, right? Yeah, we're going to Say that again, Mark. What are we doing? 50 and 25. Two to one carb to protein ratio. Two scoops of carb 10, one scoop of machine ISO. Yeah. Um, we're starting with the carb 10. Yeah. Where's your shaker, Dave? It's right there. So one, carb 10. What flavor carb 10 we cookies got? Cookies and cream. Oh, shit. What flavor ISO? Chocolate. Oh, that's good. Two scoops of MTS ISO. One scoop, of ISO. one scoop of MTS ISO, two scoops of MTS that carb chain. One. Yeah, that's better. Oh, Thanks, look at that Ross. shit. Eat that shit. Coming to Australia by the end of this year, both of these products, the ISO and the carb 10, and you guys are in for 10. one hell of a treat. We just trained on the unflavored carb 10. Shit was amazing, hey? It was good. That I'll was be honest, I I was scared that it would have that that milky that un, that yeah, that, yeah. that weird flavor, but yeah. you couldn't taste it. Yeah. Honestly, you know, was, if you eat pineapple before you do that, it tastes. And look great. at this. This is this is. <laughs> it doesn't get much more bro than this. Nevos, just move that move that camera bag. Uh, making up our post workout shakes in the back of a Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that just means we're upper middle. That class. is no. That is that is as bro as it gets. It really that is. That is king of the bros type shit right there. That is. This is bro royalty. See now, since Joe's holding camera. That is epic. I got you right here on the shaker. Thank you, man. I'm going to get the live taste test. This is the first time I've taste tested this combo. <laughs> and in particular, taste tested the cookies and cream. Here you cream, go, bro. Uh, you got this? Yeah, I got this. I'll put it down. No, no, I got it. Neve, you can shake your own. I'm I'll sure you're capable. Shit. I'm going to pop it open right pop here. I'm going to turn this around. So I can see you guys. What up, what up, what up? And let's try this. Oh, Nevos. I'm coming around with a uh, cameraman. Uh, look, look at ya. The man, the man with the light. All right, let's taste test. So it's chocolate and cookies and cream mixed together, yes. right? Isolate's usually not good. Carbs are Man, that is so good. That is, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like um, cookies and cream MTS way, but much thinner. Yes. Like a much thinner consistency. Isolate Isolate's obviously a thinner protein, mm. so um, you know you put that in. Carb ten isn't as milky, mm. but we still got the same flavor system as the cookies and cream. Mm. So it's like adding a little hint of cocoa to your cookies and cream way. This is so yeah. good, but uh, man, this is uh, shit's on point. I'm gonna drink this up. Mm. We'll probably eat in about 45 minutes, replenish, and we're right back at it training with uh, Doug Miller tomorrow, right? We're training some chess. Yeah. Mark's gonna teach Doug how to train chess. <laughs> I'm really happy because it's the only body part that I know I can get dug in. <laughs> that and delts. Mm. Basically, here and here, other than that, Doug got me, so I don't care. Doug's got me on everything except for calves. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm f***ed either way. You got everybody on calves, though. And knee boss? Doug's got me on everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. I'm, that's that's done. There's no more left. It's time for some IHOP, people. Because mm -hmm. that's all that's open for dinner right now. Well, at 10.30 p.m., you don't have many choices. So it looks like we're off to IHOP again for our post-workout gains. We'll see you guys there. Yeah. Same place, actually the exact same place as last night. I just wanted to pinch these doors, mate. I'm blown away by them. Look at the doors that they are. I don't really understand the appeal of They're very doors. fashionable, mate. <laughs> They're fing timber and glass. I think all of the blood is out of your brain and in your legs right now, mate. Blood slash tennis. Alright, we're all exhausted. We need some calories pronto. Let's get this eye hop in us. Chicken fajita omelet, none of the shit, more of the goodness, whole wheat pancakes, bit of splendor. Yours is egg whites too. Do you want me to remake it? I'm good. Are you sure? I yeah. apologize. No, no, it's fine. Gains. Ruckus. I'm bringing the ruckus. You know when you don't give a it's all about them gains. <laughs> me, boss. We used to get food in, mate. You've already smashed your pancakes. Yeah, I didn't even wait for Mark, you rude Gains don't wait for nobody. <laughs> you've, you've got the pretty much the same as me too. I've got omelettes and I have my pancakes, but I've got a bit of extra chicken. I'm I'm being polite and I'm actually waiting because that's what polite people do. Pauline's gonna be pissed when she watches this. Pauline, I'm so awesome. Oh, this is gonna be an early night. Oh, my body is in so much pain right now. My body isn't ready. <laughs> Let's get back to the hotel. What's up, mother? Just back here at the hotel room post IHOP. 
Getting some work done. You know it. That's how we roll. What's the time, Nevosh? 12.47, mate. 12.47? 12 Early night tonight. Quarter to one, and we're back already. This time last night, we were just getting, we were just getting some food at IHOP. Shit's crazy. What a day. It's, it's been a good Let me day, come over here. I feel like I'm so far away. Oh, mate, people like to see the package, you know what I'm saying? Just turn the light on. There we go. What a f day, eh? Oh, shit, look at this hair. is f***ed up. I need to go watch episode 9, redo the hair tutorial. I need tips myself. We were up at, what, nine? Just the tips, you know what I'm saying? What time do you up? 9 a.m.? Are you f***ing serious? What time do I get up? 9.30. 9.30? Dude, I was up at 8 doing cardio yeah, would, and video of work. Of course you're King Joe. Yeah, well, mate, someone has to be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, what a day. So, yeah, so we Today got was up, an so epic day. At, what, well, you would have just watched the vlog. You though. guys, we yeah. 10. You yeah. did a, a crushed a whole lot of work. Did a whole lot of business meetings with uh, I uh, Well, I've, I've got to say, what we show you guys on the vlog, obviously you saw uh, <laughs> the current MTS warehouse, the new MTS warehouse. That, that thing is huge. It's gigantic. I mean, if we could... I have something like that in a few years time mate that's well that's exactly that's where we're goal. heading with that's massive joes right now so that place is is enormous so you guys got to see that you with got to Neve's see bits and there, pieces yeah. of the Neve's gym in there the workout and and meals and whatnot but the stuff that we didn't show you is why today was probably the most epic day of this entire tour a lot of big things happening in terms of in terms of the growth of massive joes and and the continuation of the people's company and continuing to deliver the products and information to help you guys better your lives. Oh, he's dropped the line, mate. Well, mate, not a lot of people it. out there know. That's an internal line, that yeah, one. He dropped it straight off the... So line. I have to drop I that shit, says, you know what I'm it, saying? It says it in the testimonial one. It says the about us on the... Yeah, it probably website, does, but mate. no one reads that shit. I do. You guys can go read that uh, shit if you want. Like but anyway, the stuff that the, 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 the stuff that you guys didn't see um, is, is, is why today was probably the, the most... Uh, productive day from a business perspective of the entire tour so we are wrapped man yeah we are pumped tomorrow we're off to pittsburgh see douglas we're meeting up with doug and we're gonna go see mts and core use the same protein manufacturing facility so we're gonna go check that out that's gonna be pretty cool we're that's seeing, gonna be uh, some super uh, exclusive content for you guys we're seeing under douglas tomorrow yeah underdose dougie <laughs> we're teaming up and then we've got a full collaboration workout we train as some chess baby I've got to try and keep. I've never trained chess with Doug. I've never trained with Doug. You no, you'll cru you you crush um, Doug in chess. You will. You won't crush Mark. Mark crushes everyone in chess. Mark's very strong. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But apart from that, man, what a f day! It's been a big day. It's been an epic day. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell Hopefully, the viewers? Hopefully, next time we get do this uh, video, I'll have some clothes on. Hopefully. Well, every single time it seems so like lucky. every time before bed, it seems as though I've never got clothes on. Yeah. I, I think you might actually sleep naked. I don't know what kind of homoerotica goes on in these, yeah. video, in these videos. Yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to add before I tell the viewers? To hit the subscribe button. I don't even know where I'm pointing, but I'm just pointing somewhere. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of TMJ in the USA. That's a wrap for day 11. We'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. We've got an early start tomorrow, too. We're going to be up at 6 for cardio. <laughs> So don't, don't I need to get to sleep pretty damn soon. Yeah, don't put me down. We'll see you tomorrow for day 12. Until then, we'll be coming to and from Nevosh. Stay,